Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the Henry Repeating Rifle mod which is being released by user D Magnus and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the historic and iconic Henry Repeating Rifle which I've been having just so much fun with here in the Commonwealth as uh, I'm a, actually a big fan of classic old school firearms and the Henry Repeating Rifle is definitely a beautiful little chunk of history. As it was made back in the 1860s, it was one of the early repeating rifle designs and was so successful it became the inevitable basis for the Winchester rifle, which of course did win the West, and that's just cool. And thankfully, this Henry repeating rifle here in the game is just as useful. If we do actually take a look at the standard version, or at the very least, standard if Ish, which <laughs> I'll talk a little bit more about when we look at the modifications on this thing. It is a pretty beautifully made rifle, absolutely gorgeous modeling and texturing. A few minor details I wouldn't mind seeing fixed, but overall it is just a beautiful weapon and a very fun addition to any in-game armory. Now as for the stats on it, it will do 37 damage with 44 rounds, with a firing rate of 5, range of 194, accuracy of 74, and a weight of 6.8 and all in all a very useful mid-tier gun that with modifications can do a lot more damage or in fact a lot less I'm not entirely sure why but I decided to make this thing earlier which is not only way less damage than the other gun we were just looking at you know the standard one but it's just just short and weird but you know what i could and that is what matters when it comes to gun modifications or of course you could actually make something you know useful with this weapon and create the longest sniper rifle freaking ever and i love it not only is it just hilarious having a gun that is this long and a uh, silencer or suppressor rather that looks like it's just made of some uh cloth really I love the old school, ye olde times scope here. It's just beautiful. With all the copper fittings and the ginormous size, it's just great. Completely impractical, uh, you know, at least for carrying around. But hey, that's what scopes were way, way, way back in the day. And that, that is just good. Now, as for how you can actually get your hands on these rifles, it's pretty easy. You'll have to wait until at least level 25, and it'll then be added into the leveled loot list, and you'll find it pretty much on any kind of enemy type. I've seen it on all sorts from raiders to, you know, fishermen over in Far Harbor. Ooh, which I should mention, this does actually require Far Harbor as it is a repeating rifle and it is borrowing the animations from the in-game repeating rifle, which of course was added by the Far Harbor DLC. But uh, yeah, once you do hit level 25, you should be able to easily find it on enemies or, of course, in stores, which is always good. So let's actually go take a look at the different modifications for this thing, and then, of course, we'll take a few shots. Uh, but uh, let's head to the weapon workbench, grab our standard-ish gun, and then a look at the receiver category, where we actually have a good few options here, from the standard to tuned, calibrated, heavy frame, light frame, hardened, powerful, calibrated powerful and finally advanced which will really up the damage on that thing and is just good so really whatever state of the game you're in with gun nut you can grab the receiver that is good for you then which is always good now next we have the barrel category which is a fun one because of course it is a repeating rifle, so all the ammo is stored in the tube under the barrel. So uh, changing the size of the barrel not only will change your range and accuracy, it also changes your ammo count. So of course with the short barrel you'll only have 5, the standard holds 10, the long barrel has 15, and the beautiful extended barrel will hold a total of 18. And that... That one I like. I, I don't know why. I just love the long, or well, extended barrel version. It's it's just silly and cool. Uh, there we go. Next we have a 
good selection of stocks in here, far better than a lot of gun mods out there. We start with the Mars leg stock, then moving on to the Ebony Mar, a lightweight, a full stock, lightweight Ebony, carrier stock, Ebony Fool, and finally an Ebony Carrier stock, which I do love these uh, carrier ones, as they will help on your reload speed, having those bullets right there, nice and ready for the picking, which is very, very handy to have. Now, the next category is, of course, the Barrel Front End, which uh, we only have two options there, either the standard version or a glow-sighted barrel front, which is quite interesting. So you'll actually have basically the standard front end, but with a little glow sight to make it easier to see when you use iron sights. Now, as for iron sights, uh, oh boy, that's actually kind of an interesting category here because we kind of can do a couple. And this is kind of where I go that this gun was standard-ish. Because if we go into the first scope category, well, you'll see we have no scope is standard. We also then go into, you know, some lovely medium scopes, a long scope, a proper night vision scope, which is cool. A uh, lovely medium scope see-through, night vision, long scope, which is just fun, and then a medium scope. All seems pretty, you know, pretty good. And of course the standard no scope on the edge of it, which is all very nice and handy. But here's the thing, we have another category for sights right here lowered sights is what it's to by default at least on this particular gun we can either have no sights a glow sight which as you can see pops right here instead of those scopes that were popping back here we then have a half a circle glow sight a half circle sight an iron sight lowered glow sights lowered glow sights or just regular lowered sights rather raised glow sights raised sights and a peep sight so we have basically two different scopes that you can use which you know kind of boggles my mind when it comes to what gun is standard plus you'll notice this raised sight standard lowered sight standard iron sight standard uh and then of course the no barrel sight standard so I'm not entirely sure what is exactly standard, but it's at least safe to assume that you could have a fair few different uh, sighting combinations when it does come to uh, that in particular, which is quite interesting. Now then, of course, we do have the muzzle category, which just has two options, either nothing or a suppressor for, you know, suppressing the sound, which is always good. We then have a foregrip option, which is always nice. You either have no foregrip, a foregrip, or an ebony foregrip, whichever you do prefer. Then the next category is glow material. And this is interesting because we selected that front glow sight. We can actually now choose what color it is. Now, if we actually do go back to this lowered sight, we can select this half circle glow sight. And we should, if all went well, yes, there we go. We have two glow materials now we can select from. Now, the first one should always be the front of the barrel glow sight. So let's, uh, I don't know, make that uh, blue glow. Sure, nuclear material, there we go. And the second one, we'll make that orange. And as you can see, it switches to them no matter what. You can't actually choose one being one color and the other being another, which is a little bit depressing, but I mean, at least it keeps with a general theme. So if you change one, you end up changing both. I have a feeling it's because there really shouldn't be two of these categories, that it really should just be one, no matter how many glow sights you have on this thing, but because of how the game works, it does two. And then, of course, oh yeah, we have more sights. Rear sight. <laughs> well, we can actually add other sights to the back here. So we have a, a half circle glow sight up at the front right now. So we can put another half circle sight in the back as well. You know, if that's what you want to do, which I just find hilariously interesting. There are three sight categories on this thing, but it has all the same stuff for the most part as this sight category did until you get to these reflex sites, where we have a reflex site, a circle dot one, and a glow cross, and then we have a uh, short scope versions of things, which, again, we have like three scope categories, it confuses me. 
And then, of course, we have the ammo category where you can change this to a variety of different ammo calibers depending on your usage. The most powerful tending to be either the 308 or the 4470, depending on the receiver you have. But uh, overall, uh, still pretty nice to have this ability. And then finally, we have Material, where you can actually change the color of this thing from the standard brass to uh, black material, case hardened, or silver. If you're really, you know, wanting to be a bit garish, it is there for the taking. And that, that my friends, is all of the different things. It took a little bit longer than normal because of the three freaking sight categories but I love it nonetheless. So let's go take some shots and uh, bring out just the standard version. So there's that half circle sight right there, as you can see, uh, which is quite nice. I actually do really like that sight. And let's take some shots. And excellent. I really do like this gun. It fires pretty well. Not exactly the fastest thing, but then again, it is a repeating rifle. It's not exactly meant to be the fastest, but it is good. And there we go with the standard in-game animation. But perfect, we reloaded quite quickly. We only put in, what, like five bullets? And we got ten? But still, very, very good. And a wonderful sound. You gotta love that. Now let's actually switch over to uh, our 38 version, which fires faster, but um, yeah, it only has five bullets. There we go, it's beautiful. And uh, here's now a thing about having the multiple sights. As you can see, I have a front sight, uh, you know, the front glow sight up there, up at the very front of the barrel. I then have that mid sight, which as you can see is the, with the purple glow. And then I also have a freaking reflex sight on here. And uh, yeah, you have the three different categories, but you definitely don't want to use them all because well, you'll notice, I'm aiming right now. You'd think I'd be aiming through the uh, the reflex sight. But no, the center sight, or the foresight, or whatever you want to call it there, the one with the purple, actually takes precedence. So if I fire here, you see the splash was up there with the purple. It's kind of hard to see, but the splash is up there rather than in the cross of the green. Now, if we didn't have that purple iron sight on there, the recon scope, or not recon scope, the reflex scope would actually take precedence and would become your proper aiming sight. So you do not want to mix and match the forward sight and the rear sight. You just want to have one or the other depending on what your needs are at the time. So that is a thing about this gun to keep in mind. And then finally, we have our suppressed 45 version, which isn't the most damage you can do. That, I think, was with the 308 round. But still, a pretty good gun. And I just love how freaking long it is. And of course, it's silent, so, you know, pretty quiet. And a wonderful gun. And of course, no matter how many bullets you go through, you're only always going to put back in five of that animation. But such is life with that particular default in-game animation. So, well, that means it's now time to go and kill poor Will and Randy over here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do it with, of course, our beautiful new gigantically long sniper rifle, which is just wonderful. Hello, Will. And he's down. 90 whatever damage, pretty good. Oh, I saw Randy up there. Okay, let's get him. Headshot! I missed! I missed! Well, he got him in the legs and... Oh, he got out of range there right at the end. Ha! <sighs> well, that one shot, though, did do quite a bit of damage. So if I would have gotten a second shot on him, he would have been taken down. But with my poor shooting, unfortunately, uh, we missed. But yes, this is the Henry Repeating Rifle Mod. A very beautiful, wonderful weapon mod. Like I said, I'm a big fan of classic old school guns. And this one, oh <laughs> boy, it's beautiful. I want to get the whole thing in there, but it's just so long. I mean, look at this. Look at, look at it. It's gorgeous.
gorgeous. But yes, that uh, is a wonderful, wonderful piece of work. If you'd like to check it out for yourself, and I would definitely suggest that you go and do, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But uh, yeah, that's actually going to be it for today. Let's get actually one that's uh, a little bit easier to see there. There we go. Perfect. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today, though. I hope you all have enjoyed. And of course, you do come back for the next episode when we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.